Hello guys, welcome to another episode of the Commerce Lab by Ecomsy, the place of everything related to Amazon FB and e-commerce. My name is Vincenzo Toscano, founder and CEO of Ecomsy, and today we'll bring you a very interesting topic. It's all around TikTok advertising and why you must use it in your Amazon launch strategies. And what a better person actually than Paul Harvey. I mean, he's a master of this uh, topic and he's the founder uh, of a company called Rankstar, where they specialize on all this art around TikTok advertising. And I think it would be awesome to touch that topic today and provide as much value as possible so you guys can get started into that uh, area of advertising as well. So it's a pleasure to have you here, Paul. Uh, how are you doing today? It's a pleasure. I mean, to be honest, I see everything you put. I follow your content a lot in, in, in LinkedIn, your case studies, everything. And when I saw all the things you are, you're making for your customers and, and the results you're getting is definitely something I, I, th I said to myself, I need to understand how TikTok works and, and why I need to integrate into my strategy. And, and that's the purpose of having it today. So thank you. Appreciate that. Um, uh, let's get started first a little bit with you, Paul. I mean, I usually with this podcast, to be honest, because I like to also give some introduction to the audience that watch them. Uh, I would like to, you know, get a, a couple of minutes to learn about who is Paul, how you got started in the commerce space, and what made you jump into TikTok, yeah? <laughs> so basically, um, long story short, I've been an Amazon seller for well over 10 years. Okay. And in that process, um, where well, um, I was originally a high school math teacher, then transitioned to be a full-time seller and then learned that quitting my job as a teacher at the same time when my daughter was born when my wife <laughs> wasn't working yeah. not, the, not the best business move ever so then i started doing a lot of consulting and helping master of so selling and then in the process i launched a few agencies launch agencies okay. um, old school rebates and so on and so forth but always my strategy was sending external traffic to mm. amazon because when I started selling on Amazon, an expensive click was like three or four cents on PPC. I know. And those days are long gone. Know, a long I time. See, yeah. I didn't see things ever getting cheaper. And the way I saw it was today is the cheapest Amazon ads will ever be. And that's true for every single day going forward. So yeah. I, I thought the best strategy was um, just focus on external traffic, get the best avenue and go from there which led me through, through TikTok because I've worked in a few aggregators and okay. I helped them spe specifically and uh, actually ran their um, TikTok links to more traffic and teams Makes and stuff. Sense. And now I, then I broke away and I do my own thing. But basically is that what I noticed was if we can just send traffic from TikTok, that's a, good, that, that's a huge thing. And the reason mm -hmm. I tried to give out so much content is because I think honestly, we have maybe about a year, two years to mm. take action on TikTok because much like Instagram and Facebook, and what I've done was is that in my past, I would push traffic from Instagram or Facebook or even Pinterest, every platform I would push traffic from. And what I noticed was for the first year or two, Amazon loves that platform because it's new traffic, new customers mm. from the platform. And like, for example, when we did... Um, we, we did we have our own chatbot software we would push traffic from facebook to messenger yeah. to amazon and it worked incredibly well until everyone started yeah. doing it yeah. so they yeah. lost the effect so then what we did was in the chatbot flow we actually pushed them to a pinterest pin they had the search mm -hmm. for instructions so then amazon sees people coming from pinterest and then doing the search for and buy and that worked incredibly well until we had a few issues with French and stuff. So it worked well. But yeah. we always try new strategies. And right now, it. TikTok is just better than all the rest. That's why I have everything focused on TikTok. We have an old team. We only do TikTok because it's yeah. so awesome stuff. Okay, right yeah, I think that's awesome. Actually, that brings me to my first question because I know a lot of people may say, okay, why a TikTok and not, I don't know, like Instagram or Facebook or, or the other platforms. So I think based on what you're saying is that the, the reason why you chose TikTok is, is because it's very new and you can definitely mm -hmm. get much more engagement and traffic, right? In this moment. Mm -hmm. 100%. And also clicks right now are running ads on TikTok are cheap, much cheaper than Facebook and such. For example, 
one of the issues we found is that I would estimate as much as 80 to 90% of TikTok users will not click the ad. They're allergic to ads. TikTok <laughs> users don't like ads, they don't like it whatsoever. But what we noticed was when we pushed a lot of TikTok traffic that directs to Amazon listings, even if the user does not click the link, what yeah. they will do is they will go search the product on Amazon as step one. So what we see then is that we see anywhere from a 40 to 60% rise in brand analytics for the branded search. And okay. I don't know any other platform that can actually um, mm. manipulate brand mm. analytics. That's yeah. purely why it's so good. And all we do there is basically make some, make some videos about the product and say, go find baby grow, baby blankets on Amazon. Something like that with the brand yeah. name included. And you, you see the branded search just go through the roof. And what does Amazon see? Amazon sees users coming from TikTok and searching for the branded mm. search. Um, and it works incredibly well. So then your PPC actually goes down for your specific branded search keywords. Yeah. And that's a whole thing, but it works out really, really well. But what's wow. the other thing is that when we use Amazon attribution yeah. with the TikTok links, it doesn't work. Meaning mm. that other I wanted Amazon to ask that. Links, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, maybe yeah. this doesn't work. Or there are so many factors, but their users on TikTok will go find a product themselves on Amazon as step one. And then maybe if you're lucky, they'll click the link. Yeah, I see. So basically, I, I bet that once you start doing this advertising, a, a simple way maybe to track this, that you will see an increased views in, in your product details page, right? You compare yeah, the views much, yeah. between the before doing the ads, right? Yeah. So what I do pretty much, uh, most of my job is spent trying to tell the client what to <laughs> that, look at. Yeah. And that's the hard part, it really is. But basically, yeah, yeah. the first step is look at attribution. Amazon attribution is it working. Um, most times it isn't, but it's nice to have this test out. Yeah. Secondly, then look at the, the page, the, the ASIN, the page views, the sessions, mm. the um, you know, page views, sessions, the unit session percentage, so on and so forth. Yeah. Because I have some clients that say to me, Paul, listen, my listing is optimized and it works incredibly well. We have a 20% conversion rate. I say, great, because now what I've done is I've created a TikTok video about your product. People are interested in your product and then they click on your product and they're not buying. So mm. the problem is your conversion rate isn't as true as you think it is because now you get people are interested, but they're still not buying. What's the problem here? And mm. that, that's actually quite useful for the client to understand that, wait a minute, my listing is not as good as I thought it was. But yeah. that's why it's important for the buyer, or so the, the seller to understand all the metrics. You look at a top-down view, and, mm -hmm. and basically what I see is that after about two to three weeks of TikTok traffic, we do see an increase in sales organically on Amazon. I say organically because there are just too many KPIs yeah, for issues sure. to check. I see. That's very interesting. And now when it comes to a strategies that you're currently implementing with TikTok, would you say most of the end goal is based around a getting the organic ranking? Or will you say you also have some clients that besides the organic ranking, they're also actually trying to make profitable sales directly from those people coming from TikTok? What is usually the objective you see? So it's a mixed bag. At? First of all, is that um, the most the biggest problem I find with anyone doing TikTok is they use D2C strategies for Amazon, which is fine, but that, that's like the unboxing video, product review video, so on and so forth. Those work really well for D2C because you mm -hmm. can send the traffic directly to the website. Mm -hmm. But with Amazon, is different. You have to create content in addition to the D2C content, but the Amazon content must be kind of like Kind of like catered towards the Amazon algorithm. So, for example, one product would be we had a model, uh, not model, a creator say, um, came in video and said, and the, the product was baby grow baby blankets. I'm making that up to save, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, keep confidential, but baby grow baby blankets. And what we did was she, she started the video saying, Hey guys, my newborn slept through the night because my friend recommended me these baby grow baby blankets on Amazon. 
I got it and I had the best night's sleep of my night last night because my newborn slept through the night. And guys, guess what? When I, when I ordered it, it came with this coupon code up top. Mm. That's why it worked so well. Now, to the average user, they didn't really understand what happened there, but to the Amazon seller, what happened? We told the user how to find the product. By yeah, the keyword. The blankets, and then we said, um, it came with a coupon code because yeah, sometimes it comes with coupon code. And then lastly, um, it, wasn't, it doesn't come across as an ad because TikTok users don't like ads. It yeah. came across one mother giving advice to another mother. Uh, she honest feedback. Them. Yeah. 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 That's and that great. kind of works really well. And then basically, you take content like that, split up a few times, have a few variations, and run those ads, and you'll see your branded search increase as a result. Wow, very interesting. And now I, I bet a lot of people say, I love the idea, but it, I, how do I find these inf influencers, right? Because that's, mm -hmm. that's another tricky part of this, because we are not finding the right influencer can be tricky because we, are, we know there are so many fake accounts, sometimes with fake followers, mm -hmm. likes, and all of that. So what are some of your tips, will you say, in, in terms of getting started and finding some of your influencers that will match your brand and all of that? Yeah. So the first thing is every seller needs to understand the difference between an influencer and a creator. An influencer is someone that already has a TikTok following, mm -hmm. and a creator is someone you just hire to make video content mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. So what I always do, basically, my team does the research on each brand looking at, okay, what similar products are doing well on TikTok and just, mm -hmm. just literally copy their content. Now, mm -hmm. a lot of people try to be original, but TikTok is not an original platform. <laughs> um, yeah. TikTok is copying Be Real and Be Real is yeah. copying TikTok. I know. It's loads back mm -hmm. and forth. So copy the content and improve on it. That's the first set. So get a creator, copy the content and improve on it. And to find a creator, there are about over 10 to 20 different platforms. We can hire creators and tell them what you want and they'll do it for you. But then if you want an influencer, the problem with influencers is that um, they feel because they're influencers and they know what the audience wants. Yeah. They know what they need. So yeah. I'm not a fan of influencer marketing because I want to be in control, but um, sometimes they, they, they work really well. The problem is with influencer marketing, you can't really control um, the sales and the cost because some of them might charge you a few hundred to a few thousand I know. or just one yeah. post. And it's just ridiculous, it really is. But what I love about TikTok is that I will create five videos from creators that I do in house. Now I get five influencers, so I have 10 pieces of content. Okay. Now what's great about TikTok is you can use Spark ads and actually turn an influencer's post into an ad. So mm. you can run your five creator posts along with five influencer posts all in the same ad campaign on TikTok. Now okay. what Amazon sees, is that Amazon sees, wait a minute, here are 10 videos sending traffic straight to us. Not just one profile, many different profiles. And most of the TikTok users aren't actually aware that you're boosting a TikTok influencer's content. Mm, yeah, Which, I wanted to ask you that. That's interesting. I didn't know you could do that. So that's basically, I guess, what you call Spark ads, right? So you yeah, basically can get an, um, um, a TikTok that is with an account that you don't own and you can advertise that, right? That's how it works. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. All, okay. all that happens basically once they agree to it, they give you their authorization code. You put that I code see. in your ads platform, and then you can actually boost that specific video, and it looks great. And it has all their branding, so you can't actually see any of your branding. So it looks like a very native. Um, I see. Cross is that good? And and for that, uh, in case somebody watching this has a question, that means you need to also have your own TikTok account that you will just use to run the ads of that influencer, right? Yes, basically. correct. Yeah. Okay, good. And and now when it comes to uh, these creators, because you say you usually use influencers that they use their own account, and in the case when you use creators, that means you will have your own TikTok account for that brand and also be your following as, as in your personal account, right? Yeah, okay. pretty much. And right now, building a following on TikTok is really cheap. Um, we're getting like once we've dialed in 
um, expensive click, expensive follower will be 10 cents. So I know mm -hmm. that the average on Instagram for a follower, if you call it followers, is yeah. um, I think about like 80 to $1, whereas TikTok right now is super cheap. It really is. Wow, wow. So that means basically you also will run a campaigns not just for um, sending traffic to Amazon, but also to build your following and all of that. With Correct, you. yeah. Okay. Because the aim, is, the aim is to always grow organically. You always want that organic growth. But like that takes time. I hate waiting. For yeah, I know. <laughs> Most people don't want to wait. <laughs> and 20% yeah. of my ads are always focused on follower campaigns to just increase the following counts. I see. Good. Um, now, when it comes to the strategy of doing TikTok, right? Would you say, um, I mean, most of the people right now, will you say they're focusing short term just to get the organic ranking and then they turn everything off? Or will you say there's definitely also a strategy that you should always keep a, just as PPC, you have it every single day, right? Mm -hmm. So how you see that uh, going right now? Yeah. Most of our clients, once we get going, they actually take a portion of their PPC ad spend mm -hmm. and dedicate okay. that to TikTok. Now, with TikTok, I always say start at $100 per day for just mm -hmm. testing purposes. That may be too much, um, but mm -hmm. $100 is enough to, for you to understand what's working what's not working and if it's a big brand that's hundred dollars a day is actually nothing compared to the ppc spend yeah and um, that's the main thing and then going from there all you really need to do is understand the platforms that can get you the creators and influencers and then basically get one of your one of your um, team members just um, go on board basically i have a few team members for every platform so we can mm -hmm. just push out content ridiculously quickly wow wow very nice very nice good so i think um the other question um i may have so we can start concluding about this topic which to be honest it sounds so interesting it would be the the reporting side of things right so uh, we know we we basically can't really track that traffic coming in and at the same time sometimes it can also be difficult to filter the traffic you send to your listing so my question basically is when you're sending this traffic from TikTok to Amazon, eh, could you also have the opposite effect that maybe if you don't find the right influencer, you send traffic that's not good and actually your conversions may go down? Have you actually seen that happen? That's a very good question. So basically what I've seen is that people should only use TikTok when they have all the T's crossed or R's dotted. You know that saying, yeah. when they have everything done. Basically, a well-optimized listing with a good PPC campaign, so on and so forth, good listing. Like, mm -hmm. If you have those things in, in, in place, you can flood your listing with TikTok traffic and it won't do any harm. It really won't. Mm -hmm. However, if you do not have a good PPC campaign in place, if you do not have good images, if you don't have a well And you're just getting started, like with no reviews, yeah. something, yeah, it can be Then taken. you flood it with, with TikTok traffic because right now TikTok traffic is cheap, so you get tons of it. Yeah. So if you fly to the TikTok, um, I, I do see like um, a tougher time for those brands. But yeah. If everything is done perfectly from the start, not perfectly, but done properly, then TikTok traffic can only help. Awesome. Great, great advice. I like that. Great. So, um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I think we cover everything when it comes to the basics, finding influencers and and how to basically measure success when it comes to TikTok. I don't know if there is some areas that maybe you you would like to cover as a, as a conclusion in terms of TikTok that you'd like to share. Basically, everyone always assumes they need influencers to get started mm -hmm. on TikTok. And that's not really the case. And if you do, and if you have the time, because the problem is with influencers, you can use the TikTok creator marketplace. That's TikTok's own influencer network that you can use for free. Well, you can use the platform for free to go pay the influencer. Mm -hmm. But generally there, because it's so used, um, you only get like a 10 to 15% mm. response rate. Yeah. And of that response rate, only half wow. will actually be worth <laughs> it. So my yeah. team, um, when we're going at Full Throttle, we'll reach out to about 500 influencers a day. And of that, maybe... 10, a lot 15, of time, yeah. And then others that reply, maybe only 10 or 20 actually make the mix. That's out of 500. Wow. And that's a full-time job, it really is. Yeah, so for sure. <laughs> that's really tough. So then 
Um, if you're willing to pay, there are other platforms that can do it, like Intellifluence, Incense. They can really do it and find great influencers and then go from there. But basically, don't uh, don't wait for the influencer. Um, start creating on content right now and the other platforms for that, like um, join brands, below, so on and so forth. They really great. So there's, yeah. there's actually no reason to not start right now. Mm, that's very good advice. I, and I guess one of the main takeaways, I, I assume, uh, between doing it yourself in house that using this software in terms of just to find influencer is that when you use a, 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 a solution to that gives you a directory, like a, a, a software solution, it's more expensive, I guess, right? Because you're yeah. paying the, the, the influencer straight away, right? And you're doing the manual work, right? That would be the main. And not even that, some of these platforms just, just take a whole bunch of influencers and add them to the platform. So the influencer isn't even aware how you got the details. <laughs> nice and that happens a lot. So okay. when you're testing out these platforms, make sure they can stand by what they do. Very, very good. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, thank you very much, Paul. Uh, to be honest, it's, it's been a pleasure to have you today. I think all the knowledge you share is super valuable, so I appreciate it. And I would like to give you um, another couple of minutes so you can share uh, how people can find you. I know there's some kind of secret offer you want to share with the audience today. So yeah, feel free to tell us all about that, yeah? Basically, um, Rankster is actually just a newsletter where I moan about all the problems with Amazon and TikTok, so and so forth. So if you want to hear about me moaning and my, and my, my strategy and stuff, make sure to sign up to rankster.co. Um, all the details are there. And then um, next week, just before Black Friday, we will be releasing our Black Friday deal. And I'm not a fan of doing Black Friday stuff, but <laughs> my mindset, um, every Amazon seller needs to get on TikTok. Yeah. So I'm, I'm making, I'll, I'll put a Black Friday deal together. That's been six months in the making, and I'm not going to offer it again only because it's, um, it's a yeah, big it's deal. Unique. Yeah. So um, awesome. hey, we're interested to sign up to the newsletter, and all the deals will be given to you there. Great. Yeah, I'm going to make sure to put everything down in the description. Any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, and that's it, Paul. So it's a pleasure. Hopefully, I see you soon in London. And take care, my friend. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. All the best. Bye. See you.